Hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to briefly cover the pros and cons of international trade barriers, namely tariffs and quotas. Now if you need a refresher on what either a tariff or a quota is, we invite you to check out the video we made earlier which goes over the two barriers with examples in just 60 seconds. Now with that said, let's get right into things. As I was saying earlier, we've already made a video about tariffs and quotas, but if you haven't had the opportunity to watch that one yet, fear not as I'll briefly remind you what each of them are. Put simply, a tariff is a tax imposed by the government on imports, while a quota is a numerical limit that the government imposes on the quantity of a good that can be imported into the country. Now for you econ students out there, a question you may face on a short answer macroeconomics test is simply why? Why in the world would a government impose trade barriers? Isn't it a well-known fact that trade benefits both nations? That's why they engage in trade in the first place, isn't it? Well, as with anything, there's pros and cons. But let's start with the pros. The first and most obvious advantage to imposing a trade barrier is the increase in government revenue. Tariffs primarily benefit governments in importing countries. They acquire the tariff income the same way they would acquire other tax income. The second advantage to imposing trade barriers is that it forces fairer competition. Tariffs are a way to prevent unfair competition in international trade and to eliminate additional price setting inefficiencies in a global market. The third advantage is that it provides a starting point for international negotiations and agreements. So tariffs may be the last option, but due to the negative impact it has on an exporting nation, it forces nations to get the ball rolling on trade agreements. The government will probably negotiate with partner countries for the best course of action for both parties. An example of this is the aluminum tariffs that the United States imposed on Canada as a means to speed up the process of agreeing to the trade agreement, formerly known as the North American Trade Agreement or NAFTA, and is currently known as the USMCA or the United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement back in 2019. The last advantage, and arguably the most important, is that trade barriers often stimulate and encourage domestic production growth. Tariffs raise the price of imported goods, and according to the law of demand, this should reduce the demand for imported goods. Consumers then increase their demand for domestic goods. Increased demand for domestic goods encourages domestic producers to increase output. This will ultimately create more income and jobs for the domestic economy. Such support is essential, especially in strategic and emerging industries and markets. But there's two sides to every coin, so now let's review the disadvantages of imposing trade barriers. Firstly, domestic consumers bear the higher prices. So contrary to popular belief, tariffs increase the selling price of an imported good in the domestic market. This means that consumers have to pay the higher price for the imported products as the majority of this tax will actually fall upon the consumer, not the exporter. Second, trade barriers raise inefficiencies. Barriers create inefficiencies on consumption and production. On the production side, inefficient domestic producers can still operate even though their production costs are higher than those of imported goods. On the other hand, consumers can no longer enjoy low prices as imported goods drive domestic prices higher as well. Lastly, and most notably, trade barriers are likely to trigger retaliation from partner countries. Partner countries have an interest in their industry because it provides employment and income. Tariffs suppress their industrial performance, prompting partner countries to retaliate. Such a situation might lead to a trade war which can severely harm one or both nations' economies. So there you have it. Now you know both the pros and cons of imposing trade barriers in the international market, and why governments would choose to do this. If you like this video and are excited to see more, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and comment what sort of economic topics you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you in the next. Thank you.